more and more organizations are leveraging the cloud in their systems. You may have a good basic understanding of the benefits and risks of using the cloud, and you also should understand it from an architecture standpoint. Evan, can you talk about this a little bit more? Yeah, so this is a quick example of cloud architectures. So if you take a look at our standard architecture and you drop it into the cloud, this is the basically what that looks like. So you have the ignition server, uh, and then you have the database in the cloud. Often that's done with the database architecture from the cloud provider. So Amazon Web Services has their RDS service. Um, Azure has their Azure SQL. Um, they have a variety of databases actually that you can spin up inside Azure now. It used to just be Microsoft SQL Server, but you know you can now can scale up just about any major database there. The connections from the cloud server to what you see in the upper left sensors, um, that's drawn with a dashed line because it is very undefined inside this diagram. There are a lot of different ways to connect down to sensors. Uh, most often we see folks interested in connecting that over MQTT because it's such an easy way to go about that and provides open standards communication. Uh, but it's there's there's about a hundred ways to get that connection going. And even if you're using MQTT, the, the sensor to the MQTT collection device, if the sensor doesn't have MQTT built in directly, uh, can still be a consideration there. So on that side, the, this uh, webinar isn't specifically focused on sensors. We can have a full webinar probably on the architecture that includes the sensors and the communication and all of that. Um, but that's showing that there's a communication, some communication up to that ignition server in the cloud. Some systems don't have sensors at all. Some systems just have a database inside the cloud. Sometimes that cloud database is being fed from other systems and Ignition's just providing a visualization platform. That's entirely fine. Uh, we have a lot of folks who are doing that today. Um, and so that sensor piece might not even be relevant. If that sensor piece is relevant, sometimes that is cellular communication that's going over that and data being pushed over cellular to the central Ignition gateway, so outgoing communication, so it's firewall friendly. Uh, and there could be some other good options there as well. So um, I'd say on that piece, if you need more information on that, or if you have considerations about what that connection looks like, uh, I'd also say give us a call, uh, reach out. We're happy to have our engineers talk to you um, to provide some details on all of that or to talk through the options with you uh, and figure out what piece of that might make the most sense for you.